Hi, this is a Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 161. The word origin today is gargantuan. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. If someone describes something or a person or a thing as gargantuan, it is extremely big, huge, or of great mass. Here we have a lot of words in English to mean something is like gigantic or very big or massive. Uh, and gargantuan is another one, especially when we want to emphasize that it's really, really big. All right, let's continue. The word, uh, the origin of the word gargantuan comes from the French name uh, Gargantua, uh, which was a giant king and his son. So in this story, they're both giants, the king and his son. Uh, in a satirical novel, remember, a satirical comes from satire, which usually means they're making fun of somebody. The most common type of satire is usually political satire. Uh, you know, they make fun of the government or politicians or something. And here it's a king, so might have been making fun of him uh, or the government. The king Gargantua rode a huge horse, very, very large horse. He had a large appetite. Yeah, I think I read that like when he eat a salad, maybe a couple of people ended up there. So he'd actually eat some people too. Uh, the books were about the adventures of the king and his son. Uh, the name itself was taken from the Spanish word uh, garganta, uh, which means throat. So I guess he had a big throat. He had a big mouth. So that's why they called him uh, gargantua, I guess, because of his large throat and he was eating a lot. Uh, thus, the word gargantuan was born. You know, by the time it got to English through French, it became gargantuan. Okay, anyway, we got uh, three examples to cover this in English. Here's the first one. Trying to reverse the damage done by the coronavirus uh, is basically a gargantuan task. Okay, good. All right, let's continue here. Um, an elephant has a gargantuan appetite uh, and costs a zoo a lot of money to provide for it. Yes, uh, if you ever read about it, I don't know, the, all the water and all the hay and everything that they eat and drink, it's, it's a lot. Okay, number three here. They built a gargantuan statue in his honor, so to honor this person or this great person. Okay, anyway, uh, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. Uh, I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.